What's going on guys? This is uh, my first video. Um, so it's probably a little sketchy. This is uh, my channel called The Serve. I string rackets and I love it. Um, today I'm going to string my own racket. This is the Yonex E-Zone 98, the newest version. Uh, I did put some lead tape at 3 and 9 and a little bit of 12 just to customize. Um, but today I'm just going to show you how, to, how I string using my Gamma X. ELS stringer. I'm going to string today at 50. No, let's try. How about like in 48 lately, but it's a little hotter. So when it's hotter, sometimes I go up in tension. But today, let's do right at 50 pounds. That sounds good. Um, so I do always, when I string, I always mount with the butt cap up. You can see that. It's like a YY, yo yo is what I call it. Butt cap up. So we'll mount it, center it on the stringing machine here get it there I like it nice and snug but not too snug I do um, you want to do 6 and 12 first so just finger tight be perfect and then I'll mount the sides just tight to finger tight. <clears throat> Perfect. And the tops. Set my tension to 50 pounds. Make sure the racket doesn't move or shake. Perfect. And I'm going to be stringing with be stringing with Torbite 17 gauge. Uh, it's a perfect mix for me. 16 was a little stiff, 18 a little springy, and 17 is absolute money. Selenko makes crazy good strings. Um, so yeah, I suggest you try it. Give Selenko a try. So when I pull string, for the mains, for 16, 19, I'll pull three full arm lengths, fingertip to fingertip. One, two, one more, three, and then just about half length more to make sure it's perfect. Then I'll cut it at an angle with these cutters. Perfect. Sometimes I'll even get it more of an angle so it's easier to string. Boom. Alright, cool. This has eight holes in the bottom of this racket. I'll show you over here. Eight holes in the bottom, so you'll start from the top. So I'll put my two starts in the top. And I'll put them in together. One here. Pull them with me. Same down here. Here. And one here. And as soon as they come in, I will pull them. Put them together and pull them. Pull them together. Give it back up with a starting clamp just in case. Haven't had any issues yet, but just as a precautionary tool. It's at 50 pounds, so I'll wrap it around the rotational gripper and put it inside with the gripper and press the button and I'll pull at 50 pounds. Clicks, beep beeps for me when it's pulled, then I'll clamp it with the other clamp as uh, close as I can to the grommet. 
release it. Now our release tension. Tension is on this string. I'm going to go through the second. What I do is a, a three per side. Oh, three. Uh, put the string in the fourth main, but I won't pull tension on it just to keep that string out of the way. So second main. For me, I love stringing. Um, some people don't like it because it's a little bit tedious, but I don't know. It's just it's something I do to relax, and it's just a good time. And it's nice to be able to just test out strings. Um, test out tensions, test anything from 10 pounds to 70 pounds if you really wanted to. It'd be like Dustin Brown. Alright, so that's the third main, so I won't uh, pull tension on any more mains, but I will put this fourth main in. I just cut myself earlier today, too. That's why I have a Spider Man band -Aid. So I will pull. This one, but I won't actually pull tension. So now we'll go over here to the main on the other side and pull tension on that one. And then I'll take the starting clamp off. Oh, and when I when I do uh, mount the base clamp, not mount, but when I clamp it on, clamp first. So I put the clamp on the string, clamp the string down, then I'll fix in the base clamp. And the same way when you come, not, well, the opposite way when you take it off, if you want to take the base clamp, loosen the base clamp first, and then undo the clamp on the string. Mains are pretty simple, self-explanatory. Nothing too, 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 too crazy. I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, just started a little stringing business in my in my house, um, so it's been fun so far. I get about five or six rackets a week. Nothing crazy, but I I just love it, man. I do some freebies too. I'll throw on like a free overgrip. I, I love the Yonix uh, Prograp overgrips, and I use the uh, Solinko grips as well. Really digging the Solenco grips. Their tackiness stays like no other grip. And you can get them at a much better price than, say, Wilson Pro or Yonex Super Grip. So check out uh, Solenco. When I first started stringing, I did string on a drop weight. So, um, Big step up with this machine, the drop weight, man, it is absolute, it's not a nightmare, but it's rough. And I don't think the tension that you want is exactly right either. But a drop weight stringer is still a good place to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go ahead and just put the seventh one in. I'm going to do one more after that. Go back to the other side here. Uh, 
and, and of course, with every racket, there will be some mains uh, that you skip or holes that you use twice. Um, but for me, when I uh, first started stringing and I clamped off the string, I'll show you in a second, but when I clamp it off, I can't reach where the hole and it's also pointed in this direction. So I'm, I know that's across and I won't put a main through that. But if you're looking to get in a stringer machine, Gamma X ELS, they make it in a red too. Um, but I like the blue. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment in the in the description. I mean, in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get with you. If you need your racket strung, reach out to me too. I'm located here in Columbus, Georgia. Um, you can mail it to me. I haven't uh, done that yet, but I'm not, I'm not against it. You know? All right. And see, see how this the clamp blocks that cross right there. So I know this main string. I'm gonna skip. See, this kind of can't get in there. So I'm gonna go to this next main. So I'm do skip. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So I will skip eight and then go into nine. Same up top, skip. Right. Okay. String is not reaching, so I will get. trusty starting clamp to help me get there. Just mismeasured just a hair. But this is a good thing to show you guys anyway. So I use my starting clamp and I'll put in uh, a string. Pull it evenly on both sides. Boom. So what I'll do is I'll clamp the string that was too short with my starting clamp. Then I'll use the string that I just put in the starting clamp to reach the gripper. And then this is the last string, so I'll use the not button feature as well. It adds 10% tension. Oh, no problem. And it really helps not use too much string too, so I didn't waste any string. All right, so that one's ready to go. I'll do this side first, and then we'll do knots on both sides. That's number seven. Can't get to that hole there, so I know that's skip number nine. And then I'll go into this last hole. And that's eight on both sides, 16 mains. Sweet. Yep, just a hair short. Needed just a hair more. If you're stringing like a multi-filament or synthetic gut, you can probably get away with a little bit less because it, it uh, pulls, stretches. So I use a knot feature again, 10% more tension, it's on 50, so 55. Cool. Uh, for knots, I like to use the Wilson Pro Knot. So I'll go in the nearest main hole. There we go. I'll go over. My hand's probably in the way. Over, under. Pull that pretty tight. Just make that hole a little smaller. Then I go back through it and pull it again. Then I like to use my starting clamp to. So I'll pull that first knot nice and tight. Cool. Then I'll do that on the second one nice and tight as well. I'll show that again on the other side. Then I'll release the base clamp first, then the clamp that's holding the string. Perfect. While I'm holding this too, so you're gonna lose as least you want to lose the least amount of tension as possible. Same for the other side. 
So the closest main. Boom. Nice. Over. Under. Over. Under. No problem. I like to use a starting clamp to uh, pull the tension on these. Makes it easier. And you can get tight. <laughs> so full first. Second. I'll hold. Base clamp. String. Boom. And I'll get my Zoron. I think Zoron makes these. Yeah. Zoron great clamps. I think they sell them straight on the, the tennis warehouse site. I like to cut it close. Too. Some people like to leave a little bit more. I'll pull it towards the frame, clamp it. So that, that basically is sitting nice and flat against the racket. You won't cut yourself or a player. Um, same for this side. Pull it tight. Nice and flush. Cool. Not too bad so far, guys. Take that out of the way. And we will get. Started on the crosses. The crosses are going to need a little bit less, but about the same. So, one, three pulls from fingertip to fingertip. Three, two, three. A little bit more for good measure. Make sure we make it there. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, it makes it really nice if you cut the end of your string at an angle. It's easy to be way easier to get inside those grommets. So uh, with crosses, I'll start on the second cross first and make my way to the first. Um, up, some people like to start under, over, some people count how many holes they skip. Um, I usually like to start under, so I'll go under, over, under, over, all the way across. And I started under here. So I'm going to end over on the scrum. That's kind of a good way to know if you um, didn't skip any or doubled over. Like if you went under, over, over, it's a good way to know by the end. So opposites. Then I'll go in the first cross. Over. So opposite, started over, ended under, boom. All right. So the only thing I need to make sure is that uh, when I pull this string, that it reaches my reaches my clamp here. That's way too much. All right. Let's feed it back in just a hair. Okay. Let's see. Still probably a little too much. I like to make it, but not crazy. I'll use my starting clamp here to hold that string. Won't pull tension on it yet. But I'm going to come back at the very, very end and, and pull tension. You'll see in just a second. And I always string one cross ahead, so you could pull tension on this, this string, the second cross, but it'll make it harder going down the line, so we won't. Uh, first, I'll String this third cross over under. Oh, I'll go a little faster now, just for the sake of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, if you're watching this, you love tennis like me. So all right. So now that I did this cross, I'll pull tension on this. Same same tension, 50 pounds. Boom. Go ahead and straighten it just a hair and clamp. Spring clamp. 
base clamp. Probably not the right terminology exactly, but... And try to keep the end of the string in your hand too. So when you're stringing, and I'm going to of course flush this out, but um, when you're stringing, try to keep this in your hand and make it faster so not have to find the end every time we do a new cross. And I'll fly it out. Fly it out, just to keep from friction from being too much on one string. Or you can notch the string before you even honestly get started. Okay, I like to straighten just a hair. Then I'll do the next cross. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Over, under, over, under. Okay, started over, ended under. Sweet. Full tension on this one. Straighten it out just here. Boom. Flushing, wind vexing, something like that. Over, under, 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 over, under. Cool. Uh, this part's pretty, pretty standard too. I mean, once you start. I think the hardest part is really getting started. But, um, sort of on drop weight too, that's a different, definitely different whole, different world with the drop weight. Base clamp, boom, string clamp, boom. Man, we're rocking and rolling now. It saves you, like, the pro tip um, for me when I first started crosses was I didn't straighten them when I pulled it. It was harder to do it because I had a drop weight, but um, straightening as you pull tension saves you so much time in the end, and you won't have looking rainbow looking messed up strings. So, yeah, give it a shot. And there's people that weave differently. Uh, there's definitely you know, a lot of people that are a ton faster than me. But this is the way I like to do it. Pull tension again. Straighten it out just a hair. Base clamp. String. String clamp. Base clamp. Go. Straighten the most. Pretty good so far. Fly it out. Hey man, if you guys have not tried Yonex rackets, you're missing out. This. E zone in stock form, maybe a little light. I added a leather grip and I put the lead tape. If you have not, and, and paired with any Selenko string, is out of this world. I love Hyper G, man. Hyper G is great, uh, Confidential is great. And they're just a really good team to work with, really great people. first video I hope they you know they'll get better in the future right now I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 which I'm finding might be better used for like action videos <laughs> this one not really it but um might use my iPhone in the future just to get better quality for you guys so you can see things so you can see my stringing I know it's hard to see because my hands are always in the way Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll be our eighth main. And we got nineteen. So we're getting there. 
most of it by now. And if you comment, if I can do something faster, I'm always down for, you know, I, I'm always humble enough to take uh, constructive criticism. And, I, and I, you know, to get better, I mean, that's what we're here for. I'll help you, help me, it's just that it goes around and around. The phone's going crazy over there. Group messages, you gotta love them. a racket before I suggest you do it man especially if you play a lot or maybe if you don't even play a lot but it's just something about getting to know like your instrument if you're a guitar player you get to feel the way the strings feel and you just get to know your racket man my inspiration behind you know string in and this stuff is Smitty from Mains and Crosses. If you don't, if you haven't watched this channel yet, check it out. That boy knows what he's doing, and he shows you how to make money. Stringing rackets. I'm similar. Obviously, I want to make money, but my goal is to help people love, uh, learn to love tennis and. You know, my prices are pretty relatively inexpensive. Is honestly, but so like for full poly, it's like 25 bucks. You know, for, for me, what the string costs me, I'm still making it like 15 bucks on labor. I want you, I want to be clear and transparent with you guys. And if you bring me your string, like you say, you hey, Michael, can you put this um, RPM Blast 15L in my rack in my Babel Out Pure Air? Of course, 15 bucks. You know, and you're welcome to hang out with me, we'll talk and shoot the breeze about tennis and life. See how you're doing. Especially during these crazy times, man. Crazy times. We need unity for sure. And people just to it's okay to disagree. You know, we're, we're people, we're gonna have different values and, and opinions and we should value those different values and opinions. That's what makes America so great. tennis needs. I haven't tried to string anything else like a badminton or a racquetball racket. I look funky man but I'm down to try. Uh, let me guys know where you're from in the comments too. I, I'd love to see who's watching, where you're from, what racket you play with, what string setup you like. Um, cause I always like trying new strings. I always feel like there's something out there that can make you maybe a little bit better on the court. I know a lot of it's about technique, of course. But, come on, man. You know that polyester strings are going to give you the most spin. I don't care what kind of um, crazy good multi-filament you have. It's just not going to do the same as polyester. And it's not going to last. 
you're going to break that stuff, it would spin like Rafa, 3,000 RPMs. For this full Western backhand, forehand. Only a couple more crosses to go, and then we'll be done. So I, I do, I do appreciate you guys watching. It makes my day to to share what I love with other folks. And um, I hope you guys are doing well. I encourage you guys to reach out to me if you need to talk to somebody or really anything. It could be tennis related, of course, but but if you're going through a tough time, you know, let's talk, man. Because. I promise you it gets better. Promise that. Promise that. Just a couple years ago, man, I started not feeling well every day. And man, I got depressed. It was crappy, man. But I knew it was gonna get better. I knew it had to get better that, you know, and my creator made me for something much better than not feeling well. <laughs> and he he wants me to feel well. But I got out of that, you know. I, you know, went to a lot of doctors. They didn't know. But man, uh, with God and and I think God gave me this outlet of tennis, man. That's I love it so much. Just getting outside, man. It's it's huge. If you're feeling down and depressed, get outside. Get that let that sun hit you right on the face, man. You just look at the sky, and you gotta know that it wasn't didn't just happen randomly. That it was created by God that loves you. Uh oh, started over, and I ended over. Let's go back here. Let's push this tension through. back out. Fly it out, slow it Okay, that's over. Oh, I did it twice in the beginning. That's what happens when you get on tangents, man. <laughs> Gotta focus on the job at hand. Too. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to recording. No idea. But hoping to learn. So you'll learn. Pliers here. Alright, attention here. Just a couple more crosses. more crosses Let's go under. And 
Tension here, I'll go ahead and not tension on, I'll put not tension on the last two. Last cross. And then we got this top one. Um, that's it. Pliers here. These little bent nose pliers, man. Lifesavers. I suggest you get some if you're stringing. Smokey. Hey, Mokey. He's a good kitty. He likes to talk. He's a human kitty. So I'll pull this uh, tight. Boom. Pull this tight. When I pull it, that's when I'll release base clamp. String clamp. String clamp. Boom, boom. Cool. Pretty straight. Come back and cut that in a sec. Um, but I'm gonna do this next. So, not tension on this one, please. string and then pull that loop and then go back through the loop and then I'll pull this pull that first uh, circle over and up that we tie it <clears throat> yeah get that tension out of there and then the second pull base clamp pull that's it got my kippus pull Against the frame, boom. Against the frame, boom. No problem. Put that away. And she's looking good. Well, I'll go ahead and straighten out some crosses while it's on the machine. Shoulder 
stamps. And then six and twelve. Beautiful. Oh, sounds good. Alright guys, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, more videos to come. Hopefully we'll get better in time.